morning, everyone, and thank you for coming to the annual meeting of the New Diagnostic Working Group. Uh, we are very pleased to see you here. That has been uh, quite an active year for the, for the Working Group. We went through many changes. We will have a challenging um, program for today. We have the symposium divided in three parts. Uh, the, the first part will be focusing on the development of new diagnostics for TB, challenges and perspective. The second part is focusing on the possibility, we are not there yet, it may be not coming in the very close future, but we are moving in this direction. So we are moving to point of care diagnosis. And the third part that will be the probably uh, very interesting for uh, all of us is going to be the panel discussion when you will have the possibility to ask questions directly to the speakers and to the chairs of the working group. And said so, I would like to introduce my co-chair for today and this is Dr. John Ridder from the Center of Disease Control in Atlanta, US. So we can start, and uh, I'll probably be the one starting. Introducing what is the, the, the new diagnostic working group very briefly went to a revision of the strategic plan. So we have a new document, and, and the new document uh, clearly states what are the vision and the mission of the new diagnostic working group. The vision is really that High quality diagnosis of tuberculosis and drug resistant bacteria should be available to all in all settings. Uh, we, we still have 3 million cases that get undiagnosed, and this is a huge amount of, of burden of disease, potentially infectious, that go around and spread the disease. And we still have an excess of people that are dying because MDR-TB is not diagnosed on time or is misdiagnosed, or if it's diagnosed, treatment is not properly started. Our mission then becomes foster the development and the evaluation of the new diagnostic for tuberculosis by providing strategic direction and try to serve as a coordination body communication and advocacy platform for all the stakeholders that are interested in TB diagnostic research and development. Without implementing research on TB diagnostics, including fundamental TB, we won't probably be able to move to a real point of care. As a new diagnostic working group, we are a partnership in the partnership. So we would like to serve as a forum for stakeholders to provide coordination and communication to, increase, to really increase the capacity to collaborate and really to increase the collaboration among different stakeholders. We want to set strategic direction and provide guidance in collaboration with what are the, our main stakeholders that are fine, that host our secretariat, in line with the WHO, that is the body that then releases the policy. We would like to assure coordination between partners in order to avoid a duplication. We don't have much fund. Uh, there is a huge gap in, in the funds that are considered necessary for providing better diagnostics and the funds that were released last year. If we want to increase our results, we need to make the most of not only to keep advocating for, new, for, for more funds, that's for sure, but also we need to use the funds in, in the better way. So we need to avoid the duplication and uh, um, start integrating different groups that are working in Europe, in the US, uh, and try to communicate more. We also have a role in identifying and promoting promising innovation and uh, advocating for, for funds and uh, the best decision-making decision, uh, the decision-making 
um, evidences that can drive the policy by the WHO. As a strategic project for now, we have to develop an overarching research strategy to coordinate the different players and really work on the identification of mechanisms to improve information and data sharing among researchers, keeping the protection for all. That is, we, we are researchers ourselves and we understand what is the problem of sharing data but we need to find a solution. And convening the stakeholder forum will be part of the process. We also have a kind of a mandate that is mostly developed by FIND to monitor the progress in TB diagnostic development and issue um, the global TB diagnostic pipeline. What are the ongoing activities for 2004 is are the points that you see on the slide. So to collaborate with the other Stop TV Partnership Working Group and other initiative, such so the GLI and the CPTR, and that will be in the initiative of the stakeholder forum mostly, to organize the meeting, that, and we are all here today, to ensure dissemination to membership and partner of regular updates and news. And this is done through a newsletter. And there is also an update with all the papers and all the news that comes out. And this comes out monthly. And I will really encourage and invite you to send us also what you think is relevant, because we may be missing a lot of the relevant papers and a lot of the documents, and some of the documents maybe that are coming out on diagnostic, there is really a lot. Provide advocacy and disseminate material on relevant meeting and events, and use the resources made available by the Stop TV Partnership to leverage funds from other donors in order to finance major initiatives. I need to tell you one important point. The funds that came to this working group this year were 10% of what we used to get until two or three years ago. So I'm talking about $10,000. You understand that renting one room like this one and providing, uh, uh, I mean, we haven't sponsored almost any travel, not mine, not the, the, the travel of the other co-chairs, nothing. I mean, we do not have funds. What we are doing is done by in-kind contribution of our time, by our own institutions, and we are struggling to um, fundraising the funds that are necessary to really carry on the activities. So we have this financial problem, and we are suffering a big financial crisis as all the other working group of the partnership. This is the stakeholder forum formal announcement. It's the first one. Uh, the stakeholder forum will follow, will be a follow up of the uh, forum that was held in uh, Washington and was, uh, was um, uh, organized by the CPTR and NIH. The forum will be on 17, 18 March in Geneva, Switzerland. And the clear objective will be to address the needs related to drug to a rapid drug resistant assay to be performed at the peripheral level to inform individual treatment decision and to address key questions faced by the test developers. If we want to say, in other words, there are two points here. Really revise the data that are available and I hope by then the data, the majority of the data from the WHO survey will be available to us as well as some preliminary data uh, from clinical trial. We need to inform on once, we need to get the feedback from the clinicians on how, what they want to manage the patient care. We need to know what will be their, um, their attitude toward new tests that could be developed. If the clinician are not going to use the test, we do not need to develop those tests. If those tests will be just one added on test, 
without changing the management of the patients, they won't have the impact that we really would like to see. And then we will inform the developers on what is really needed from the field. This is the program outline, and uh, you will see, and probably uh, my co-chair, John Riederhoff, may also tell you more about that. And uh, with this, I need to conclude, I want to leave more time for the others, uh, presenting all the people that have been working a lot with me, with uh, Mark Perkins, that is the co-chair of the group, with For Find, uh, during this year, and I would like to thank you all.